I'm actually making trapping hams work in the real world. But I get so sick of people going on the website saying trapping hams don't work, blah, 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 blah. Because it's always just talking about it. And when I punch, here's, here's the idea, okay? I punch, he parries, and then I trap. But your punch doesn't stay out there. Your finger jab might, but your punch doesn't. Your punch is going boom like this and it's back. So how do I track that? So we're going to give some basic ideas and basic principles here. One is learning to stick. So we're going to start here. We just, we just do one side. I'm just going like this. And what I want to do then is I want to pop down and there was an airspace. So he doesn't want me. He wants to stick to me. That's it. That's it. Just stick. And he's going to come down and then he's going to come down and try to get me. So that's all I want you to do. Just learn to stick. Learn to stick. Later, you can go more advanced. We're not going to do that. Just stick. Yes, sir. Okay? Just stick. You're trying to touch his shoulder. Stick to it. Stick. 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 Is you have your brain freezes. So that will depend. I borrow all the time. What you want to do is train your brain. The muscle memory Here we go. They just pop. Bounce, bounce like off a diving board. Trampoline. Here, I pull or touch. You should put my claw. Just a kind of rolling a little back. I just bounce. Pull down. See, from here, what I'm doing is like really basic. Just train your reflex. So when you do that, boom, boom, right. You don't want to have any issues. Yeah, you go do it to me. Okay, I don't want to spend too much time on this. It's just the idea of, of sticking. Now, the way the Wing Chun, that was a, a, from, from like a more of a Tai Chi idea or a Xingyi idea. In terms of Wing Chun, which Jeet Kune Do is a part of, they do what's called a harmonious spring, which is the same thing. They're going to try to pop this down and hit and you stick to it. Two hands, both hands, and he just sticks to it and does a finger jab. It's really the same idea. Okay, so we're doing this because we're going to learn how to defeat it. Okay, because in terms of reality, it's not any good. All right, we're going to find that out. But I want you to understand it first. All right, so let's just do harmonious spring about five times. I don't want to spend a whole bunch of time on it. Okay, that's what I don't want to stress this. It's not all that important. I just want to get the idea there. So. Trapping is always taught from the reference point, right? And what happens is, uh, I like to go from a long way here to think and really work the thrust. But for right now, from here, this is about as far as people go from trapping. They go here, and then they go here, and they do all of this kind of thing, okay? That's fine, except it's never going to happen in the real world. So what happens is, if he traps from there, I can do a million different things to him. So you've got to trap from here. The way you do that, I'm going to just move along very quickly, skipping stages of having to go through BS stages. Just, I want you to do three times. I want you to pat and then hit it. He's going to parry it. I want to trap the leg and trap the arm against the body. If I don't, if I go here, he's going to come around with a, with a joust out or a kick. I didn't trap those. I've got to trap those. I've got to really knock them off balance here. Okay? Now, I go pat and then hit three times. Then Wing Chun is simultaneous pat and hit. The idea is that this line is closed, so I have to open that line to hit him, okay? But you see, I've got this much before I stop. So I start the hand first, boom. And that's gonna be the key to making trapping work. Okay, so go pop, hit, He'll parry it, pop, hit, he'll parry it, simultaneous, he'll parry it, simultaneous, he'll parry it, and then you'll just hit him. Okay? Yes, sir. All right. Hey. Okay. Yeah, right to right, left to left. <laughs> now, what he's going to do is, we'll be right to right, and he's going to step in and punch. When he does, yeah, punch. I'm going to slide. All right? I'm going to do that three times. Just sliding leverage right here. On the fourth one, I'm going to do it as I trap. Okay? So from here, he comes in, pop, right there. Now, you got to really control this because he's coming in. So see how close I was? I, you know, so be careful with that. All right? Okay. You don't know how far he comes in hard, so you got to control it. Just 
<laughs> now, compound trapping. What they talk about from this reference point is I go here, and then there's different things I can do. If it's and is here, I go here and trap here. There's reasons you do this. There's reasons for this right here. But it's not in compound trapping. I'll explain where it is later. So what I want to do, if I, if I can crash the line, if he punches and I crash the line, and he parries with his rear hand, bam, bam, bam. You don't have to trash that second hand. What the hell for? You don't need to. Okay. So that's the idea I want you to get. Once you crash the line here, it doesn't matter what's happening. There's a straight path here. You just start blasting. All right? Yes, sir. Five times.